Okay, what is it titled? Daniel Berhem Meskel, The Ladder to Complexity. It was made in 2006. It was made out of oil and marker on a canvas. And this, I believe he has a really good thought of complexity because I get stuck. I don't know where to begin. And what he meant by the ladder to complexity, I'm thinking he's going literal because it's a ladder. You could see there's just tubes. You can see the shading. It's so cool. You can see the outlining. It pops out a bit. It's as if it was a snake, kind of. A snake swiggling through. And I love all that little detail and all those little circles and every single little dot. It's just really cool. And especially the fact that you can kind of see through it. It kind of gives a nice effect, so I'll hold the microphone. Bravo to him for trying to figure out how to make a, a luminescent kind of painting. And also, I don't even know how he got that high, but I, I like the design of it. It's more square. All of them are, don't have really this kind of shape, and I, that's just what I love about it. You are correct about everything. Well, necessarily there is no right or wrong. But if he was gonna start somewhere, I would probably suggest for him personally that he would probably start somewhere over here. So he would kind of start over here and take it all over to the other parts. And that would be cool, but you never know where he started with it. Okay, Daniel Berger Meskel, where did you start the first parts of drawing? Um, I actually don't remember exactly where I started. It was in 2006. Yeah, it was, yep, exactly. yeah. Almost nine years ago. And, uh, but the one thing that I remember is that it started, uh, it was during summer, it was snowing, and I was painting branches of trees and that's how it started so the initially the canvas was white but i i started painting then it turned out to be yellow and with all of this it was actually michigan Wizard. it was not yellow back then but it started with a white background but it was actually michigan influenced weather uh, okay, guessing probably over there, which is the um, microseconds after the Big Bang, and that actually tells us about our whole story, so it's kind of a lesson through paint and art, and it's a good lesson through canvas, so I really love that. Also that, it just seems as of investigation over there, it just seems as of... It's a tree kind of bending around, making its way to reach the sun. And it just seems like it's struggling and it's just trying to get all its nutrients just by branching out and stopping, like pushing down everything so it could get closer to the sun. Yeah, that's probably about all the ones that actually seem natural to me, but actually influenced by yeah, by nature. Okay. Of course, all my uh, paintings are influenced by nature. Uh, they may not be the, uh, the exact nature that we see outside, but they all are influenced by nature. Uh, so the one that you were mentioning, the microseconds after the Big Bang happened, um, it actually shows how the very early molecules or unstable uh, molecules being created. Um, uh, and... Uh, so that somehow came into my mind, and I think somehow it influenced me to, I guess, generating or making this painting. Thank you very much for that response. I'm going to say yes, but I'm going to say totally yes, because one, because he's right there, so I don't want to make him mad. 
And then second of all, it's the truth. It just really inspires me. Because if I see any abstract stuff, it's not, it's so, man, they just probably did that on purpose. But I'm guessing he, he still does it on purpose, but he just feels like, if he feels sad, he just paints sad. If he feels happy, he makes fireworks and explosions and just makes everything happen. If he feels like, if he feels in fact happy because of something, like a different cause, there could be like plenty other causes for being happy or like different shades of happy, such as like a color, like different shades of blue. I would, I would say he just, he just uses his emotions and what he feels is right is what he does. Anything he does not feel is right, but other people may like, he still won't do it. That's because everybody's unique and that's what I like about it. It actually shows unique stuff. Because you do not see an abstract artist. If you could pan right now, that'd be good. Oh, which way? Right? Over right. there, right or there, right there. Okay. It's just the center one. Yep. Okay. He just shows us his actual emotions, and he shows his lifestyle, and also he shows who he is and he shows to the world that he loves this world and that everybody can make a really big impact if you change your lifestyles and i'm not talking about probably trying to go on a smaller diet i'm talking about if you could help other people if you could impact people by telling them by going up to them and saying, it's okay, believe you can do it, and you're halfway there to your goal. And that's how I feel about all his paintings.